Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this mirror box image. Now, first things first is you want to select your image and load it into Photoshop. So to do that you want to go to File and you want to go to Open and select your image. Now once you've loaded it into Photoshop, what we want to do is we want to go and crop it. So select the crop tool on the left hand side and you want to hold down the shift key when you're cropping so this makes a perfect square. So let's just do that. Now I'm not being too accurate, you can just um, select any part of the image that you want. But I'm just going to go for anything because I don't mind. And then click the tick icon once you've done that, like so. Now once you've done this, we want to duplicate that layer um, another four times. So you want to hold down the Control and J key, so you want to just click that four times. So we've got four layers here. So we're going to work on the background layer. We're going to go to um, image, we're going to go to canvas size. Now I'm going to work in the pixels, um, sorry, percent, sorry. And we're going to put um, to 100 width and, sorry, 150 width, sorry, and 150 height, like so. And then click OK. Now we've got that, we've got more to work on. So we're going to go to layer 1 which is the next one up. We're going to select our select tool, move tool and we're just going to bring that to the side like so and it should snap into place. Now it's not um, looking like a mirror image so we want to go to fire, sorry, edit, um, transform and flip horizontal like so. And then we want to hold down the control and T key zoom out a bit and then squash it inwards like so and it should snap in zoom in a bit more and you want to right click and you want to click perspective now you want to go and grab the top of it and then just drag upwards like so so it reaches the tip of the outer white box like so and then click the tick icon now from here you want to do exactly the same to the other side so just go up one layer bring it to the other side like so and it should snap in um, then you want to go to edit transform you want to go to flip horizontal again hold down the control and T key to free transform just move it in right click on the inside click perspective bring it out like so click the tick icon now for the top we want to go to the next layer up which is layer one copy two and we want to just bring that up and it should snap into place sometimes it doesn't so you need to play around with it a bit um, go to edit transform and we want to flip vertically like so and you want to hold down the control and T key to free transform again squash it in like so right click perspective and then just bring it out to the side like so once you've done that click the tick icon and then do exactly the same for the next layer bring it up let it click into place now sometimes this one doesn't always click so you have to do it manually sometimes uh, just go to edit transform again vertically um, then hold down the control and T key bring it inside squash it up like so right click perspective and then bring that out like so like that click the tick icon now at the moment it's not really looking like it's um, inside a box so we're going to have to do some lighting so if we go back to layer 1 which is above the background layer what we're going to do is we're going to go to image we're going to go to adjustments and then we're going to go uh, to brightness and contrast now we're going to bring the uh, brightness down to minus 100 like so or if you want you can do it to the other side it doesn't matter um, so if you wanted to do the other side you can just 
put 100 like so and the next side image adjustments brightness and contrast minus 100 like that then at the top we're going to go to image adjustments brightness and contrast we're going to put that minus 50 and we're just going to do the same to the bottom brightness contrast minus 50 and there you go you've got your mirage uh, box uh, image mirror box image sorry and um, so I hope you like this tutorial and please do some more work uh, to what I've just shown you and create a great image so please comment rate and subscribe and please check out my website and that's going to be in the box below the thingy box below and uh, catch you next time bye for now